we are talking about equations of circles and we want to be able to graph the circle from the given equation. So in this, we want to identify the center and the radius of e for each graph and then graph the circle. So remember, we always have HK and that's given uh, from the equation. So we always have HK. Now in this case, we don't have an H or a K. Like here we have a H, H and a K. Here we don't have one. So if there's no H and no K, that just means that there's zero, zero. So our center point is just going to be the point zero, zero. And then our radius, so radius squared is equal to 25. And so we can take the square root of both sides and we get R is equal to five. So now we can graph this. Our center point is going to be the point zero, zero or the origin. And then to, to do a graph of this, we don't have to have a compass or anything, but we just want to count in four directions the radius. So one, two, three, four, five right here. One, two, three, four, five right here. One, two, three, four, five right there. Two, three, four, five. Now those are good markers and now we just have to kind of do a good job of sketching our circle from there. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we do want to try to do our best to make it look like a circle. Uh, not too bad, a little bit off, but not too bad. Again, we go to number seven here and we want to do the same thing. We want to uh, find our HK. So we have HK and we can tell that just by the equation. Uh, remember, the sign in the middle is always negative to start. So if it's negative to start and there's just a two there, that means our H value is just two. Same thing. The original equation has a negative sign in it. So if there's just the three with the with the minus sign in front, that means our k value is positive three. And then r r squared is equal to sixteen. So we can take the square root of both sides of the equation, and we get r is equal to four. And then we we can graph this the same way. We find our center point of two, three. So we go over two, up three. And then we want to count four in each direction. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we just want to sketch the line or the circle that goes between those points. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we want to do a pretty good job of making it look like a circle. I have another example. Number eight, again, we have HK that we're trying to calculate. So we have HK and again, we have, uh, this time we have a positive sign. So in order to change that from the original negative sign to a positive sign, we have to substitute in a negative three. So our H value in this case is negative three. 
And to change that positive sign to negative, again, we have to substitute in a negative 2. So our k value is negative 2. And r squared is equal to 9. So we, we solve by taking the square root of both sides. So we get r is equal to 3. And we graph it at negative 3, 1, 2, 3, negative 2, 1, 2. So that's our center point right there. And then we count 3 in each direction. So 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And then all we have to do from there is just make the circle connect through those points. And then the last one, our HK, again, is the first thing we want to look at. So we have HK. And in this example, we're not adding or subtracting anything from X or Y. So we know that our center point is still at uh, 0, 0. And our radius, in this case, uh, r squared is equal to 17. And if we take the square root, we don't know what that is exactly. Uh, so we just have to estimate. And we know that the square root of 16 is equal to 4. So when we go to graph this, it's going to be a little bit above 4. So this is going to be an approximation. So r is approximately 4. We know it's not 4 because the square root of 16 is 4, but for, when we're, for our graph, it's going to be approximately 4. A little bit bigger, right? <clears throat> so our center point is 0, 0. And we want to be a little bit bigger than 4 because 17 is bigger than 16. So here's 4 and then a little bit more. Here's 4 and a little bit more, 4 and a little bit more, 4 and a little bit more. And then we can just sketch. Now we could use our calculator and we could get that exact decimal or we could get that rough rounded decimal if we wanted. Uh, but we wouldn't be able to graph it that accurately on this graph anyway. So just using a number we know. And knowing that seven square root of 17 is a little bit more than 4, we'll be fine. And those are the graphs of those four circles.